Hi everybody, Tom Pingle here. I'm going to give a quick lesson on how to um, add together uh, sort of a, a, a multi, uh, a lot of different polygons together to figure out how many polygons cover a particular area. Um, so to get started, uh, I'm going to use a temp geo database that I'm working with here and just create a feature class to kind of illustrate what I'm working on. Uh, and we're going to call this first layer uh, input polygons. Uh, this might be species distributions or um, uh, sales districts or whatever it is. Uh, we'll hit OK. Um, I'm going to use um, WGS84 uh, as my uh, uh, coordinate reference system here. Uh, and we'll leave all the rest of this alone. Um, what I want to do uh, is just sort of sketch in a couple of polygons here. So I'm going to start editing uh, and uh, create new features uh, within my layer here. So I'm going to create one sort of oblong, oblong uh, polygon here, uh, a second one here, uh, and then a third one uh, that's kind of partially within a couple of these. Uh, so I've got three polygons that I've just created. Uh, I'm going to save those edits and stop editing. The first thing that I want to do is kind of use each of these uh, to carve against the other one. So I'm going to use a tool called Features uh, to Polygon uh, and, um, and kind of cut use each one to kind of cut the other. So my input features are the polygons. Um, we'll keep all of the rest of this the same and just hit OK. Uh, the result of this is going to be sort of uh, an intersection point of all of these different uh, polygons. So um, we've got a little piece of it here, we've got another piece there. Um, what I want to do is say, uh, create a final sort of data set that says there's one polygon that covers this area, there are two polygons that cover this area, there are three polygons that cover that area. Um, so to do that, I'm going to do a spatial join. Uh, I'm going to uh, use my target features as those feature to polygons that I just had. So there's going to be five lines in the database, one for a little each piece of that. Uh, and my join features are going to be my original polygons. Um, uh, I don't really need to keep a lot of stuff. You might want to do that. So we're going to leave this alone. Um, but what I want to do is have a sort of a count field. Um, so I'm going to set a merge rule for this uh, as counting any one of these. And it doesn't matter which one I use. So we'll just use the FID of the first one. Okay, the last thing that we need to do is kind of down here, uh, we want to set a match option. Um, so there are a lot of different um, things that you can use. Um, what we want to use is within. Um, so we're going to say, okay. All right. Uh, this looks like what we just had. But if we look at the attribute table, um, what we have here is a join count. Uh, that's going to be based on our input polygons. So uh, we've got a section here in the middle um, that basically there are three polygons that cover that, um, a couple on the outside where there's two, and then further out from that, there's one. Uh, so that's kind of just an easy, quick way uh, to do that summary. Um, hope you enjoyed this quick lesson. Thanks.